Hello, Internet! Praise be to God, and welcome back to more Harvest Moon 64. As you saw in the corner there, I have a son now! So, that's the most exciting thing that's happened, and probably nothing more exciting will happen for the rest of the LP. <laughs> and how's that for a screenshot? My baby bawling. Hello! I'm not gonna drop him! I physically can't, honey, okay? Uh-oh. My son's not happy! <laughs> Somebody's not too happy. <laughs> That's alright. We'll soon fix that. Here you go, sweetie. I know you like cabbage. Waiter! <laughs> you can take care of the baby, I'll take care of the animals. This is not great. Hey! Oh, is this the Harvest Festival tomorrow? Hi, Artie, how are you? The Harvest Festival's tomorrow in the square. You should come. We'll be choosing the next keen. Well, goodbye. I really appreciate the birds that are just flying but not going anywhere. Fall has come. I feel sad. It's not good. Uh-oh. Ain't a party without Artie. Oh, Artie, please drink lots of our wine. I'm not really into that. Hey, stay a while, at least today. How's the fish? Kai cooked it, but even I can eat it. Oh, wow. Yeah, Karen hates fish normally. Did you try my wife's cooking? That's all she's been making recently. I'm a bit tired of it. Oh. <laughs> well, at least Dan's trying. Alright, looks like everybody has one fate of dialogue. That guy looks so happy! It upsets me- wait... Why? Her cakes are great! Okay. I like cooking, but I'm not organized enough. By the time everything is ready, the first dish is already cold. That is the tough part, I admit. Timing everything. What could be better than eating delicious foods? High five. I feel like I've gotten fatter since getting married. What do you think, Artie? No change. You think so? Yeah, you. it's the same character model and the same sprite. Today we celebrate the year's harvest! Have a good time! I'm glad we had another good harvest, even though you've stopped harvesting your crops. <laughs> my husband doesn't complain about my cooking, but I wonder if he really likes it. Be thankful for the blessings from the earth. Thank you. You look healthy. Thanks! I could have a little bit of wine, but I don't like the taste. How can grown-ups drink this? I bet it'd taste better with sugar. Thank you, Kent! Preach to the choir. I wonder how Ellie's cakes taste this year. Ah, the pleasure of the harvest. I always cherish the harvest from the mountains. I always treasure treasure uh, yeah, treasure the harvest from the moon. <laughs> Is there more food in the horse race? Yum. Here you go. If the coin's inside the cake, you're the next king. I don't want to be the king again. Are you kidding me? <laughs> next year's king is Arnie! <laughs> Congratulations! The king will play an active part in next year's sewing festival and spirit festival. Let's start the dancing. Everybody choose your partners. I wonder if I'll be able to bake cakes like that when I grow up. Oh. It's all the same. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe I got to be the Harvest King again! I didn't even want to be the Harvest King! Obviously I'm dancing with my wife. I know I make fun of that dance a lot, but it is an adorable dance, I have to say. Especially when you're married with the girl that you're dancing with. It's just really cute. Smooch. That was <laughs> a terrible aim, Jack. <laughs> Man, your baby can be really hard to pick up sometimes.
So I'm trying to do a little math, because you need to have shipped over nine, literally over 9,000 fanes to get the best uh, Zack ending. I'm trying to figure out. Uh, so I've had the... I'll basically, by then, I will have had six chickens giving eggs for pretty much two years. So it's 240 days times six. So that's several thousand, at least. Good at math, but not a good at math. For... Don't know why I whistled in there. I'm good at math, but math in your head can be tough. When you're, when you're multiplying stuff by triple digit numbers, it can be tough to do in your head, so... I could get my calculator out, but, hmm. That's 1,440 eggs, more or less. Probably less than that. So we've got that. I've had cows giving... Eight, eight cows... Well, not eight cows. Seven cows giving milk. For a pretty long time as well. Around a year. It'll have been around a year by then, at least. So, let's see. That's... That's 960 jugs of milk that I'll have shipped. That's pretty good. Plus a ton of vegetables. I have shipped so many vegetables. Like, it's almost not funny how many vegetables I have shipped. Several thousand at least. I'm pretty sure that I've gotten the shipping evaluation. I don't know, maybe I'll ship more in the winter when strawberries can be purchased in excess. I've decided I'm gonna ship some more vegetables. Just because I'm a little worried I'm still a bit short of the evaluation. And it's been a long time since I've shipped any vegetables. Like, I haven't shipped any vegetables since summer, at least. Maybe spring. You guys know what day it is today? It's everyone's favorite holiday, Sadism Day! The day where you get to be a sadist by giving a poisonous mushroom to everybody in town just to see their reactions. Let's start with the most <laughs> cruel one of them all, our wife. Hi honey, here's a poison mushroom. Oh my, oh jeez. That's almost worse than her chewing me out. She just sits there and cries. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Who would do that? <laughs> Asks the guy who's blatantly doing it. And is like, I'm going to do it to everybody. <laughs> I am terrible. Oh no! Green Ranch is closed. I can't do it there. Ah, oh, darn it. I'll keep it around. Actually, we've given it to the potion shop dealer already. He actually kind of likes them. Okay, it's nine o'clock. You need to open up. Stop that! You bad kid! Oh, wow! This is the kind of reactions I was looking for. Hey, Harris. Oh, um, hi. Oh, yes, these are the reactions I was looking for. I am awful. I'm despicable. But it's so funny. And I need to be entertained. And I need to be entertaining, just as important. Hello, Robot Relief. Oh, that's trouble. Okay. If you say so. <laughs> Hi, Mr. The Craftsman. What a troubled man you are. Wow. That's a little harsh. Hey, Rick. Eat this. Not very tasteful, eh? <laughs> oh, this is, the gr this is the best and the worst. Hey, Ellie. I don't like that kind of joking. Oh, okay, yep. That's how she reacts if you give her a bug as well. Hmm, is this a joke? Yeah, jeez! In one, one fell swoop, you can make everybody hate you. Isn't this amazing? Hi, Lilia. Hmm, I'll get angry. <laughs> she says, with a smile on her face. <laughs> this, yeah, okay. I feel like this is too quickly devolved into, like, how terrible of a human being can I be in this Let's Play. <laughs> no, you're being mean! Oh, jeez. Even the kids are gonna make me feel guilty. Hey, don't you like me? Oh, jeez! <laughs> That's too bad. 
But it's a Mario mushroom! If you mean to hurt someone, will God forgive you? Wow! Womp! Right there! What's the matter? <laughs> oh, jeez. Will God forgive you if you intend to hurt somebody? If you repent, yes. <laughs> I don't want that inedible thing. Oh, it's edible. <laughs> it just it will kill you. <laughs> Who wants a poisonous mushroom? I think that these people will. Hi, Karen. You trying to annoy me? Um, yes. <laughs> I was. Don't make a fool of me. It's a problem. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for not overreacting like these people. <laughs> He's just like, oh yeah, poisonous mushrooms, that's a problem which our society is facing. Oh, that's going to be trouble. Alright, fine. Jeez. Here's your wild grapes. Are you sure? Thanks. I'm so tired. I can't believe I still have to work. Hey, Kai, here's the corn. Oh, thank you very much. Karen, she's pregnant! My gosh, I'm already so nervous. Yeah! Oh no, did Kai tell you? It must be getting all around. <laughs> okay, well, I was waiting for that to happen. I am so terrible. <laughs> Do as I say, not as I do, kids. <laughs> Who wants a poison mushroom? Hey, that's trouble! Okay. No, I don't need it. Hey, you. No thanks. You took it anyways! But there's still one last step to take with the poison mushroom. We've gotta go to the bar! We haven't seen Regis in ages. Because, you know, we're married. Hey guys, I come bearing a lovely gift. That will kill you if you eat it. Hey! Oh my. Well, don't, don't say it like that. Hey, hey! <laughs> well, those were two underreactions. Hey, Regis. Hey, I'll charge you double if you tease me. Okay. <laughs> At least he's just taking it like it's a joke, which it is. <laughs> oh, bother. Oh, bother. I don't regret doing that. That was very entertaining. Except when- <laughs> except my wife's reaction, which, like, actually broke my heart a little bit. That was not funny. Just see, like, giving your wife, a, like, a poisonous gift and just seeing her cry, that was, like, that was heartbreaking. Alright, gotta sell the full moon berries. I may have a twisted sense of humor at times for video games, but that, like, I'm like, okay, I crossed the line there. Now, for scientific purposes, what happens if we eat this? And then go to bed. Nothing! Alright, well, I'm not gonna eat it if I don't have to. <laughs> I thought if you ate it, it would, like, make you get sick the next day or something. I don't know. I did some weeding. Oh, wow! I didn't know it was possible to still do weeding. Okay, why in the world can you not read books after giving birth? That, to me, makes no sense! I feel like that's the perfect time to read books, since you probably don't want to move around a whole lot. And, you know, reading parenting books is kind of important. I'm still keeping the poison mushroom in the fridge. <laughs> I'll pick it up later. I just want to note that I didn't actually say that I gave anybody a poison mushroom. I'm not that... idiotic. Hey, Gray. I've got a special surprise for you. I don't want it. Take it back home. That was a nicer reaction than what I was expecting. Here you go. 
Sorry. You heard about that? Well, what can I say? I heard about what? Oh, is Papari pregnant? I hope so. It's been a while. My brother's more annoying than Cliff. Yeah, okay. A kid. I don't know what to do. It's a problem. Uh, look. Everyone's... I'm sure everybody's unsure before it actually happens. Nobody's perfectly prepared. Uh, have a corn. For me? Thank you. I'm thinking about a name for my baby. Yes! Woohoo! I forgot I need to give this to everybody. Hey, Bobbery. What are you getting at? Wow! Okay. <laughs> That's an appropriate reaction. Hey, Cliff. You trying to pick a fight? No! No! I am not trying to pick a fight with you. You'd win. Hey! What are you two going to do? Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> I, I never imagined Gray having the most polite reaction to a poison mushroom out of all these people. <laughs> Alright, get rid of that. Oh, actually. Get rid of that. Okay, let's go to town. And befriend some uh, the people. Only some of the people. Hi, Ellie. Every day I think about names for my baby. I'm very happy. Glad to hear it. Oh, thank you. Well, what can I say? Women are mysterious. They're mothers even before they give birth. Okay, okay. Yes, I... Well... That's a slippery slope to go down, so I won't even comment on that. I want people who dislike my video to dislike it because they're honestly bad, not because they're misinterpreting things. <laughs> Are you sure? Thanks. Oh, it's you. Oh, boy. <laughs> Every fall day, you come and give me grapes. Oh, thank you very much. Is it a boy or a girl? I want a girl who looks like Karen. No, Eva is okay. <laughs> wow, Kai. You went there. <laughs> also, she's like, what? One day pregnant? <laughs> one in-game day pregnant. Who knows? Maybe the ultrasound has already come out. <laughs> Alright, I'm done with the poison mushroom now, at least. That is a great view of the bobber. I can only see the top half of it. Oh, come on, it's fall. I know there's salmon in the river. Brother Bear taught me that. <laughs> Honestly, Brother Bear is a movie I enjoyed a lot more than I thought I would. I was basically expecting it to be like a worse version of Brave. I think it's actually a better version of Brave. <laughs> Granted, Brave is far from my favorite Pixar movie. In fact, it's in my uh, bottom five. Which also contains Up. Brain on the hate! <laughs> Up could have been amazing. I really liked the beginning of Up, and then I thought the middle, I'm just like, this is not a natural progression of what was happening at the beginning of Up. What is up? Get it? <laughs> also in the bottom list, Good Dinosaur, Cars 2, and Finding Dory. And just a uh, after that, Finding Nemo, Bugs Life, and Toy Story 3. Yep. Not a fan. On a more positive note, my top five are Toy Story, Monsters, Inc., Ratatouille, Inside Out, and The Incredibles. Not necessarily in that order. But those five are amazing movies. If you have not watched any of those five movies, I want you to go out and watch one of those. I'm... I'm sure you have a friend who owns one of them. Borrow it. They're great. Especially Toy Story. That is my all-time favorite movie. Every time I watch Toy Story, I get more of the jokes and subtlety. It's really good. And that's kind of one of the main reasons I did not like Toy Story 3. It was not funny. Like, it was not nearly as funny as uh, Toy Story 1 and 2. I wish you could whistle for your baby. It's simultaneously hilarious and terrifying. Not terrifying, terrible. On the subject of Pixar movies, well, I guess animated movies. So those are my top five 
and bottom five Pixar movies. Let's do Disney movies. Top five Disney movies for me. Aladdin, Peter Pan, Hercules, Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, and the original Fantasia. Again, not necessarily in that order, but those are all amazing movies. Bottom five Disney movies. We've got Sword in the Stone. Okay, and these are just out of the movies I've seen. I've not seen Home on the Range or uh, several others. So bottom five Disney. Um, Sword in the Stone. Atlantis. Okay, I am sorry to people who love Atlantis. I really am. But that movie was just bad. Like, if you had told me... Like, I actually did not believe it was a Disney movie when I first heard it. I'm like, that can't be a Disney movie. It's so dumb and bad. But anyways, I, I, I digress. So that's two of them. I'll also put up... Aristocats. Aristocats is just like... There's nothing really good about it, except everyone wants to be a cat. Besides that, there's really nothing redeeming about the movie. Oh, uh, what else? Oh, oh, definitely Pinocchio. That's literally the one Disney movie I would never, ever watch again, because it traumatized me as a kid. Um, uh, what else? I've got one more. Hmm. And these are... This is strictly the numbered Disney movies. So things like High School Musical 3, not on the list. See, I, I would want to say something like Free Caballeros or Fun and Fancy Free, but I feel like there are worse Disney movies than that. But I guess right now I'll have to go with Free Caballeros because I can't really think of anything else. Because that movie, it's like, I, I think it's not actually that all that long, but it feels so long. Also, that movie just ends. Like, I saw the whole thing for the first time, like, a couple years back. There was, like, this really long musical number of, like, a real woman who was, like, a flower. And I'm like, okay, this seems like a good time to take a bathroom break. I was gone in the bathroom 60 seconds. Literally, I'm not exaggerating. Exactly 60 seconds. Got out, and the credits were going. I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, how did they end it? <laughs> it was pretty funny. Fun and Fancy Free wasn't great. But the mini game, the beanstalk part was pretty cool. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah, also, I apologize to Sword and the Stone lovers. That movie was just, like... It's, it still boggles my mind how they've never made a good, like, King Arthur anything, really. Like, King Arthur, how do you screw him up? He's exciting. Like, just the original story was really cool and exciting, and, that, like, they haven't made a good movie off of it. It's ridiculous. Oh, oh, I know. This is also going to get me a ton of hate for putting this on one of my least favorite Disney movies list. Uh, Little Mermaid. Do not like that movie at all. Don't get me wrong, some of the musical numbers are great, Ariel's got a great singing voice. But basically the story is just like, Ariel is a huge idiot and gets rewarded for her idiocy at the end. It's like, really? Like, yeah, call Ursula evil all you want, but she flat out said her plan to Ariel. She was like, just so you know, if you don't kiss the guy in like three days, which is highly unlikely that'll happen, then I own like your soul. And she's just like, okay! <laughs> Really, Ariel? Come on. Like, the character- also, King Triton's like an idiot, where he's like, Oh, like, I don't understand Ariel. It's like, okay, that would normally be fine, and like, where he's like, I don't know how to raise like a teenage girl, like, I, I don't, like, I just don't. Like, and I'm like, okay, King Triton, the point normally would be sympathetic, but you've raised, what, eight daughters before her? Come on, you you've got this. <laughs> I feel like I should do, like, just, <laughs> in addition to what's playing, I should do reviews of various Disney movies. <laughs> that could actually be entertaining. Because <laughs> there are some Disney movies that have surprised me, where, like, I thought for sure I was going to hate Dumbo and, like, cry during it. Dumbo was not even that sad. I'm sorry, people. Like, everyone's like, oh, the baby my sequence, it's, it's so sad. I'm like... Uh, how is that sad? It's like the reunion between Dumbo and his mother. Like, literally, that is a happy scene. Because <laughs> she finally gets to be with him again and rock him to sleep. It's very touching. 
Although we are, we can all agree that Pink Elephant on Parade was at least a little freaky. Even as an adult, I'm like, this is weird. <laughs> as a kid, and you have no idea what the heck is happening, it's terrifying. Admittedly. Hmm, what else? Other weird Disney movies. I personally really like The Rescuers and The Rescuers Down Under. They're far from my favorite Disney movies, but I liked them. Disney movies I haven't seen. Bambi? Melody Time, Make Mine Music, uh, 101 Dalmatians, Home on the Range, uh, oh, oh, hang on, hang on, uh, that one Disney movie I did for my bottom five where I'm like, oh, Free Copy Heroes, yeah, scratch that, Black Cauldron's going down there. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, there were parts of Black Cauldron I thought were really cool, mainly the villain, he's awesome, but that was just, like, not a good movie. <laughs> Anyways, enough of me talking about Disney, it's time to go to bed. Prince Ali, fabulous he, Ali Ababwa, can you flex, show some respect, down on one knee. Now try your best to stay calm, brush up your Sunday salon, then come and meet a spectacular coterie.